Hello, Blanca. Hello, Nazario. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm doing great. And you? Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. It's good to see you. Good to see you, Blanca. All right. So before we get started, any questions about yesterday? Any questions about um, the platform, the grammar, the topics? Not for me, teacher. Today I was working in the first uh, section mm -hmm. and, I, and I complete today in the afternoon and it was great. I think that I understand everything. Okay. I understood everything. Excellent, excellent. All right. I send you the homework t-shirt. The yeah. four the four uh question that you say yesterday that we'll say to the platform. Mm, according to according to the 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 let me let me remember the adjective and object, adjectives and adverbs. But maybe uh, you sent to my WhatsApp or you put into the chat? No, I, I put it to the platform. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I saw because there I saw it. It's yours is the one for my um, my brother is very tall. No. Le, let me see. No, that's Carla. No, that's Carla. Let me see. But I sent to the platform. Excellent, that, excellent. That's right now. I see. Uh huh. Mm, let me put Douglas, Eduardo. Okay. But we have a couple of them. No problem. Okay. So, anybody else have any questions or issues with the platform? Ana, Cristina, Blanca, everything okay? It's okay, teacher. Okay, great. Okay, teacher. Wonderful, wonderful to hear that as well. Okay. Okay, well, it sounds like we are going to be able to start off in just a minute. Uh, guys, tell me a little bit about your day. How was everything? What did you do today? Well, teacher, for me, my day was really busy. I went from Santa Ana and had to travel uh, at least three times a week. Mm -hmm. And today I traveled from Santa Ana to Sonsonate. And after that, I went to from Sonsonate to San Pedro Puxla. Mm -hmm. Did you hear? I don't know San Pedro Puxla, but okay. And return maybe at 3 p.m. to my country. And the weather was really hot and humid. Okay. But it was funny in my day. Okay. Yeah. Hey, did you drive? Sorry? W were you the one driving? No, no, no. I have to use the public transportation too. Mm. Yeah. How was the weather? A little... A little hard on the bus? It, it was uh, very hot and humid too, Tishore. Because mm -hmm. I think that it's close to the coast, maybe okay. in the high part of the skills to mm -hmm. the coast and the weather is so hot. But mm -hmm. in Santa Ana it's hot too, but I think that in close to the coast is, is hottest. Yeah, I think so too. I think usually the coast is the humidity. Yeah, it's true. Okay, good. All right, well, um, I'm happy that everybody is here. Bef we're going to just watch a small video to help us remember a little bit about some verbs and words that we learned yesterday before we start with our exercises. So let's take a look at the verbs or the video um, in the platform from 1.6, conjunctions. Though and however, these two conjunctions are also used to connect a positive idea with a negative one, but they... Hi, nice to see you again. This time we'll talk about conjunctions. We'll talk about and, but, though, and however. After the explanation, we want you to practice. 
so please uh, stay with us. Conjunctions It's an exciting city, and the weather is nice. It's a big city, but it's not too big. It's a big city. It's not too big, though. It's a big city. It's not too big, however. We use AND to connect two positive or two negative ideas. For example, the city's ugly and small. Canada is a big country and very clean. Notice there are two ideas in each sentence which are joined by the conjunction AND. Therefore, we can give more or extra information. Did you notice which punctuation goes before AND? That's right, a comma. Let's talk about the conjunction BUT. This one connects a positive idea with a negative one and it goes in the middle of a sentence and a comma goes before the conjunction as well. Follow me in these examples. The park is clean, but it is very small. The food is good, but it is very expensive. We have two conjunctions left, though and however. These two conjunctions are also used to connect a positive idea with a negative one but they go at the end of the sentence. Take a look. It's a big city. It's not too crowded, though. He's really good looking. He's not nice, however. Can you write one sentence using though and another one using and? Do it in our discussion box. You may follow our examples as a guide. Okay. So yesterday uh, we saw the video. We had some ideas. We wanted to make sure they. Using though and another one using and, do it in though and however. Remember the idea for though and however sometimes sounds complicated, but it's super easy. It's just like but. The difference is that at the end, with but as an example, it's a big city, but it's not too crowded. He's really good looking but he is not nice. It's the same, the same like but, only in the grammar is at the end. The same function with though and however. Is that okay? Or is most, is most formal teacher to use though and however in this case? Yes, it is. Because I think that we can use only, we can use only but, or Correct. is more formal to use though and whoever too? Yes, it is more formal to use though and however. That's right. Mm -hmm. But is the same function as but, but is more common. And though and however is a little bit more professional and more formal. That's great. Okay. Good. It's okay for everybody else as well. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Why is it important that you know it? Because in this moment, you have to make the correct selection. You're going to choose the correct conjunction. Here we have a sentence. We are going to put the sentences together using the word that is correct. So here, read the sentence and choose the correct form. You have five sentences and it's not going to take a long time. So with our partner, we're only going to take three minutes because it's not complicated. It's only select the one that is correct. So with your partners, three minutes, let's choose the correct one in the platform 1.7, 1 1.7. 1 .7.
Lilian, Alba, are you guys having some problems? Raquel, do you have some problems? Douglas? Hello. Hello, Douglas. Oh, I see you are a little late today. What happened? Uh huh, Douglas? Douglas. Douglas. Okay. All right. So uh, I see some are having a little bit of difficulty with the internet and connectivity, but we're going to go ahead and continue. Okay, so are we ready to check the answers? Um, go ahead. All right, let's take a look then. 1.7, let's try together. Okay, let's take a look. Mm -hmm. Here, number one. What do you think? Nazario, what's number one? Let me see. That's right. Which one? Number two. Number two. Go ahead and read it, Nazario. Sorry? Read it. Can I read? Yes, please. Yeah, Taipei is very nice, but everyone is extremely friendly. Okay, well, good. Let's go with the next one. Number two, Jonathan. Hi, the carrot is number two. The streets are closed. It's easy to get around. Yeah. Okay. Number three, Carla Alvarez. Albergue, sorry. Number one, teacher. Go ahead, read it, Carla. The water is nice. Um, summer get pretty hot, however. Okay, good. The next one is Rodrigo Jose. Okay. Uh, the four is number one. Shopping is great, but you have to work in the markets. Okay, good. And the last one, Blanca, Guadalupe. Okay, teacher. Uh, five, right? Yes, I like it. The mix of Spanish and English. Yes. Yes, hi, the food is delicious and it is not too expensive. And it's not too expensive. Okay, let's take a look. Guys, you are doing an amazing job, as you can see. Very good understanding. The conjunctions with and, however, but, great. Any questions for the conjunctions? Now what is this? No? All right, so in this moment, we're gonna take just a quick five minutes to practice our speaking. We're gonna take a moment and discuss different places to eat and why it's good or bad or what is the negative. For example, for me, uh, La Pampa Argentina is, has delicious food. Uh, it's expensive, however. This is the idea, try to use different. You wanna make three sentences. Well, technically you wanna make four sentences. One sentence with but, one sentence with an, one sentence with however, and one sentence with though, right? That's right. 
Okay, so we want to make one sentence with each conjunction. What are the four conjunctions? And? And. But? Though. Though? However. And however, exactly. Those are the ones that we want to do. It's okay? It's okay. Great. So we're gonna try four sentences describing a place, a place uh, like a city, a town, a beach, in the chat teacher no 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 speaking speaking with your partner okay, okay, okay. we're going to make in one moment uh with our partners we're going to start off one more time okay we're going to have groups of three let's go Lillian, Alba, do you have questions or problems with the internet? Lillian, Alba? Hi, I want you to listen to this conversation and try to identify the modal verbs which are being introduced in this audio program. Also, it is recommended for you to practice this conversation with someone else. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Hi, I want you to listen to this conversation and try to identify the modal verbs which are being introduced in this audio program. Also, it is recommended for you to practice this conversation with someone else. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, 
You shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Ever? You okay? Ever Moreno? Ever? You okay? Tengo problemas con la con la conexión de taller. Okay, okay. Tengo mala mala recepción. Ah, so sorry, Ever. But no problem. If you have problems, you can always watch the video later in YouTube. It's okay. Sometimes the internet, the internet. No problem. Thank you for telling me, Ever. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so any questions, it's okay. And, but, however, though, is clear how to use? Yeah, all is clear. All right, let's try some examples. Carla, give me an example with and. I like to eat uh, pizza and pupuxa. Good. Uh, Nazario, give me an example with but. Yes. Uh, let me see. Uh, I live in Santa Ana, but I prefer to live in San Salvador. Okay, all right. Vivian, give me an example with however. Hi, good evening. Um, good evening. However, um, I play soccer. No, not correct, Vivian. Um, Blanca Guadalupe, give me an example with however. Uh, however, the cool is beautiful. Uh, however, they are people who don't like it. Okay. Okay. More or less, remember, however is at the end. So the better way to use it is uh, for both Blanca and Vivian, remember is um, the cold is beautiful. There are people that don't like it, however. And finish. At finish, at the end, exactly. However, and though are at the end. Rodrigo, give me an example with though. Uh, teacher, I only write two examples, uh, but in, in only two sentences. No problem. Give me an example with though. In this moment, you invent. Make it up. Um, Use the example from your partners. No problem. I need help. <laughs> okay. I can help. Excellent. No, who can help? Who can help Rodrigo? Who can help Rodrigo? Help. I think that we can use I... the same. Go, go ahead. Don't worry. Hi. Yes, Jonathan. The soda at the cinema is too expensive, four dollars out. Repeat one more time, Jonathan. The soda at the cinema is too expensive, four dollars out. Okay, more or less. The four dollars, not correct. But the others is good. Remember, the idea is two sentences. Okay. So four dollars is not a sentence. So, for example, the soda at the cinema is expensive. It costs four dollars, though. You need complete sentence to be correct grammatically. Okay. But the idea is correct. I love it. I love it. It's good. Any questions? I remember that you told teacher that it's the same rules when you when we use but only that 
we can uh, put at the end of the sentences. Uh, thou, uh, however, exactly. that's it. That's it. That's it. No complication. It's like but, but only put at the end. The same but. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. Only the however was uh, in the finish. Uh, the touch not. The two, the two go no. at the end. However and though, okay. However and though at the end. Both. Both. Okay. Very nice. Great examples. I'm glad that now we understand a little bit better. In the next part of our lesson today, we're going to be learning a little bit about uh, how to ask and answer questions with can and should. Here are two models that we are very common to use can and should. Let's listen to a little conversation with can and should. You have already listened to a conversation where can and should were introduced. Oops. Those are called... Not that one. We need first the introduction. My apologies. Here we have can and should. Don't bore it. First one. Yes. This is the first one. We're going to look at can and should for models. Hi, I want you to listen to this conversation and try to identify the modal verbs which are being introduced in this audio program. Also, it is recommended for you to practice this conversation with someone else. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. All right. So let me help you out to make sure we understand. Can are abilities. Can we're going to use for abilities. Should, we're going to use for suggestions or recommendations. So can is an ability and should or is going to be used for recommendations. For example, I want to go to the movies. I want to see John Wick 4. Carla tells me, you can, you can go to Cinemark and you can, you can go to Sinopolis. These are my ability. I have the, these choices. But her opinion, her recommendation, you should go to Cinemark. This is the difference. Can, the possibilities or abilities. Should, no possibilities. Should is my opinion for you. It's okay? That's right. It's a suggestion. To you. Correct. That's correct, Nazario. It's a suggestion. For example, uh, I want to learn a new language. Oh, you can learn French, Chinese, Portuguese. You have many ability, many choices. My opinion, you should learn English. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's okay? It's okay. All right. Good, good. So let's take a moment. Here we have the idea. So we're going to see just a little bit more about can and should, and then we're going to practice. First, let's take a look at another video about can and should. Model verbs. Model verbs show a speaker's attitude or... You have already listened to a conversation where can and should were introduced. Those are called model verbs. Model verbs show a speaker's attitude or mood. We can also use them to ask for and give advice. Stay with us as we will explain them. Modal verbs can and should. What can I do in Mexico City? You can see the Palace of Fine Arts. You can't visit some museums on Mondays. What should I see there? You should visit the National Museum. You shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. Okay, we'll talk about the modal verbs can and should. This is how we'll use it in a question. 
WH question word plus model verb plus subject plus verb plus question mark. Where should we go? And this is how we use it in a positive sentence. Subject plus model verb plus verb plus complement. We should go to a museum. This is how we use it in a negative sentence. Subject plus modal verb plus not plus verb plus complement. We shouldn't go to a museum. It is important to notice the models do not take a final S and neither does the main verb. He should go to a museum. Maria shouldn't drink. Did you notice? There's no change on should and neither on the main verb go. Okay, so here we can see very good with the example. Should how to we make it. Can but the most important is here. The most important is like all the questions in English, we only change the position for sentences. Can, again, abilities. You can do this, you can do that. You can go always the verb in the present. Should is not ability. Should is opinion or suggestion. In this moment, we're going to practice a few exercises. But first, do you have any questions about how to use can or could? Or the difference of using can or could? No wants teachers. No? Okay. In the I, chat. I should I should be ready for the teacher just right okay. now. <laughs> good, good. Now in the chat, in this moment, you are going to see five links. Uh, please open the links because when we make the groups, the links disappear. So make sure that you open the links or copy and paste the links in a different place. That way you can work with your partners. The idea is using those links to practice can and should. We're going to practice positive and negative, can and should. Are you ready to practice? Do you have the links you copy, you paste? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. Ready. Perfect. We have two minutes for each link. Five links. We have 10 minutes to complete the exercises with your partner. Okay. Ever, Rodrigo, Alba, you having some problems? Uh, yes, teacher. Mm. Uh, Rodrigo, do you want me to try sending you to another group? Yes. Okay, let me try to send you to another group.
Okay. Okay. How is the idea for those grammars? Let's take a look. We have some questions about can and should. We tried the first exercise, right? So what about can? It's clear how to use can. According to the rule teacher, you say that can is for, uh, it's like an, not an obligation, maybe a recommendation. No, no. no. Can is uh, no necessary recommendation or obligation. It's ability, for example. For ability, that's I, right. I can this, Spanish. I this can is the right do. words. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's right. Should is the one that we use to give our opinion. Okay. You're right. Yeah. I got it. Okay. Let's try some examples together to make sure that it's clear. Vivian. Can you, oh no, Vivian, try the last one. Raquel, Raquel, can you give me an example with can? Okay, maybe not. Alba, can you give me an example with can? Eh, teacher, yo no pude entrar, me saca. Así que no, no he podido practicar nada. Ah, you have to be, mm, it's problem with your internet. Mm, pues no he tenido mayor problema hasta ahorita ayer y trabajé muy bien. Ahora es que he visto este problema, probablemente. And you are on your cell phone or you are on the computer? Cell phone. And yesterday? Yes. The cell phone? Yes. Mm, okay, so we have to, we're going to try a little bit more. Okay, uh, let's try Douglas. Douglas, can you give me an example with can? I can play volleyball. Okay, very good. I can play volleyball. Jonathan, what about in the negative, can't? I can play, I can swim. Okay, good. Should. Carla, can you give me an example with should? Mm, maybe you should try to uh, take some medicine. Okay, good. And let's see. Um, Nasaro, what about shouldn't? I shouldn't be there, teacher. Okay, good. Now, don't worry. You have those links. Uh, you, you can practice more with those links if it's difficult for you, the topic. In this moment, what we're going to do is with our partners, we want to select the correct ones to complete the conversation. Here, you have to choose between the words can, can't, should, or shouldn't. So only read the sentence and select which is the best word to complete. This is 1.12. Okay. Okay? All right, let's try one more time. Let's see if we can make it a little bit better in this one.
Francisco, you have any problems? Anna, Cristina, Francisca, any questions? I finished this. Okay, good. And you check with your partners, Cristina? Um. ¿Cómo? Dale. ¿Lo hiciste solita o lo hiciste en grupo? ¿Ya revisaste con los compañeros? ¿Con Francisca, en Ana? Um, la hice sola, pero no me contestaron nada cuando aquí, hablé aquí. Ana, Francisca. Yo estuve hablando, pero no me contestaron. Yo ya lo había hecho sola. Ah, igual que eh, Cristina y la misma sí. cosa. Las dos dicen que ¿Ya? ninguna contestaba. Sí, porque en los otros chats sí estuve compartiendo pantalla. Pero Ajá. bueno, podemos seguir practicando. Ok. En el... en Francisca, ¿qué happened? Francisca. Francisca. Ah, maybe Francisca no here, huh? No. Ok. Mm -hmm. Es que hay gente que solo se conecta y dejan la compu allí y nunca están participando. Por eso tienen las cámaras apagadas. Mm. Sí, es cierto. Uh -huh. Yo lo tengo oh. apagada por problema de la cámara, pero sí estoy participando. Uh -huh. No, 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 pero hay gente que, así como en la U, que creen que, ay, ven mi nombre y, y me van a tomar lista de asistencia y con eso es suficiente para que yo esté presente. Uh -huh. ah. Sí, pero sabemos que no es así, cada quien tiene una responsabilidad. Yes, exacto. Ok, thank you very much. You continue, we go back. Ok. Ok. Okay, let's check the answers and see if it's correct. Yeah, all is all my answer is correct. Excellent, excellent. We're going to check a look right now. Um, okay. okay, and let's see. Um, Alba Luz, what's number one? I cannot decide where to go on my vacation. Okay, good. Only the pronunciation is I can't. I can't. Correct. Very good. Letter B, Juan Villanueva. What's letter B? Hi, teacher. Um, you should go to India. It's my favorite place to visit. Okay. Thank you, Juan. Very nice. Uh, Raquel Judy, number two. Yeah. I'm planning to go to Bogota next year. When do you think I should go? Okay, good. Vivian, Santa Maria, letter B. Vivian. Hi. Hi. Um, you should go anytime. The weather is nice all year. Okay, thank you. Number three, Ana Yamila. Yes, um, should I run a car away I am in Cairo? What do you do? Uh, recommend? Okay, so, so good. Only practice more reading because there are words that not exist that you put. So it's 
the rec pronunciation rent and recommend rent and recommend good let's try the next one jonathan maroquin no you should definitely use the subway it's fast and efficient good pronunciation efficient efficient good mm -hmm. uh rodrigo jose uh, number four teacher yes okay where can i get some nice jewelry in bangkok okay good carla Number five, or the teacher. Number four B. Four B. Okay, sorry. Uh, you shouldn't miss the weekend market. It's the best place for bargains. Good pronunciation. Weekend. Weekend. Sorry, weekend. Good. Mm, let's see the next one, Christina. What can I see from the other of the world? Okay. Good. Very nice. Mm. And the last one, let's try the last one, Francisca. Hi, hi. Francisca. Can you listen? Yes, of course. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, no. No question. Oh, I'm in the auricular. Thank you. Uh, tell me. The, the, the answer. The answer, what uh, number? Puede ver la pantalla? Yes. Okay. Pero como estaba buscando la auricular, no, no me no escuché cuál pregunta quería. O sea, ajá, eh, o, o sea no, no puedes ver la pantalla para hacer el ejercicio, Francisca. Ah, esa, la de la de literal B, ¿cómo no? Ok, ok, ajá. The answer is um, you can you can see your, you can, yeah. Is your decision, yeah. Francisca? Uh -huh. Go ahead. <laughs> you can, you can see all of Paris. Continue reading, Francisca. But in bad weather, go ahead, Francisca. Finish the okay. sentence. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm estoy desorientada, perdón. <laughs> yeah, I see, Francisca. Okay. Uh huh. But in bad weather, you can't see anything. All right. Thank you very much. Sorry. Te... It's okay. <laughs> it's like you were disappeared. Como que si no estabas ahí por un buen tiempo. All right. Don't worry. It's for the... Es que me headphones. gustó entrar a la, a la llamada. La verdad es que sí estoy súper desanitada, pero ya estoy... Ya me voy a rentar. Gracias. Okay. All right. Okay. So here we have... We can see. Can. We, we can't. Should. Should. Should, should, super amazing. Look, all of the answers are correct. Very nice, easy to answer. Great. Any questions for can or should? No ones, teacher, for oh, me. That's cool, yeah. wonderful. Excellent. Now, everybody, the important is to have the correct pronunciation. Many times we don't pronounce correctly. Muchas veces la gente se le olvida pronunciar la t, t y dicen can t, y, y no, no pronuncian la negativo can't and shouldn't can't and shouldn't. Here, let's listen and to the pronunciation. Pronunciation can't and shouldn't. Part A. Listen and practice these statements. Notice how the T in can't and shouldn't is not strongly pronounced. You can't go shopping on Sundays. You shouldn't swim at the beaches. You can't get a taxi easily at night. You shouldn't miss the night markets. So, you listen is can't, 
right? It's, ah, you can't, you shouldn't. And that's it. So you have to make sure that you pronounce clearly. Yes? Good. Yeah, that's right. Now, yeah. now we're going to practice speaking with a partner using today's models. Can, can't, should, and shouldn't. For example, you visit my city. My city is Santa Tecla. Oh, you, you can go to many places to eat in Santa Tecla in Paseo del Carmen. You should go to Maurita's restaurant because they have delicious food. You can eat uh, chicken or meat or seafood. You shouldn't order the cocktails. They are very expensive. And mm, this is the idea. You give the opinion recommendation for the person visiting your city. It's okay? Yeah, it's right. Any questions? How do you say, como se dice, uh, vocabulary, any words? No. No, that's right. Okay, Teacher, yes. Uh, shouldn't is the contraction form. Uh, should not is correct. It is correct. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, let's practice the speaking. You are the advisor for the tourist. The tourist come to your city. What do you recommend? Okay. Yeah, you are right, teacher. The teacher asks some some time uh, for algún, some places to visit yeah. in different in different countries. For example, I went to Huayua last week. And I met with a couple of Norway people. Mm -hmm. And they asked me about different places to eat in Huayua. And, and I tried to explain about maybe two or two different kinds of places. Good. In this moment, we are going to practice with the partners. Okay. Yeah. Raquel, Alba, Vivian, it's okay. Any questions? Uh, I have a question, teacher. Okay. I don't uh, understand a uh, difference can and should. Can ability. Should is recommendation. Okay. Por ejemplo, vos puedes conducir un carro? Sí. Ese es can, es una habilidad, no es una recomendación. Can. Mm -hmm. I can drive a car. Pero mm -hmm. I can drive a motorcycle. Pero yo te recomiendo que no. San Salvador es muy peligroso. You shouldn't drive a motorcycle. Okay. It's okay the difference, Vivian? Yes, teacher, thank you. Excellent, you're welcome, you're welcome. Okay, you. now practice with Raquel. Raquel, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, Está bien, I can play with the bike. So, so yes, the sentence is correct. Pero vos sos el, tu, el guía de turista. ¿Qué le vas a decir que hagan en tu ciudad? ¿Dónde, ¿Qué hacer? Oh. ¿Dónde ir? ¿Dónde no ir? Todo eso, ¿ok? Ok. Excelente. Okay. Practice. Uh, um, el, en de bungalows. Ok. ¿Any questions? Eh, quizás ha habido algún, algunas confusiones. Can't es como ciertas recomendaciones de lugares, pero Charles es como mi opinión de esos lugares, ¿verdad, teacher? Ok, good idea, yes. 
can es cuáles son eh, la, las cosas que se pueden hacer. Should es lo que se debe de hacer o no. Por ejemplo, yo puedo conducir un carro. I can. I, yo puedo conducir una moto. I can drive a motorcycle. Pero tu opinión es que en Salvador es muy peligroso para manejar motos. You shouldn't drive a motorcycle. Ya es tu opinión. Ok. Gracias. You're welcome. Otra pregunta. Yes. No hay diferencia al usarlo con primera, segunda y tercera persona. No. It's the same. Tampoco el verbo que lo sigue. No, verbo en presente. Uh -huh. Ok, practice. No quiten el, no apaguen el micrófono, manténganlo encendido. Si solo hablando van a pasar. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. let's go, let's go. <risa> Apagando el micrófono. ¿Y cómo van a practicar? <risa> Francisca, you can go to the beach in la libertad. To be honest with you, I, I, uh, that's right. Well, see you again. No, it's. <laughs> I have six minutes. Left. Ah, that's right. Don't yeah. worry. Mm -hmm. I, I think that we have to complete the uh, the activity. I was talking with the, the with the teacher or with the or classmate that I met with uh, Norway people the last week in, in Huayua. And I was talking with them uh, about different places that they will find uh, or, or for food, for delicious food. But I don't know if you visit the Huayua someday, but I think that in Huayua on weekend, you can eat. Cristina, Carla, it's okay. Any questions? Yes, teacher. I explained yes. uh, more things to Cristina. Excellent, excellent. All right. Yes. Perfect. Go ahead, Cristina. Okay. Uh, I recommend. I recommend aventuras of the parking. Is busy. Um, ¿Cómo se piscina? Pool. Excellent. Uh -huh. Continue, yes, well. continue practicing. Good I job. can. I can swim. Yeah. Okay. And you should uh, go visit um, the cathedral and yeah. the central park. And you should uh, to eat um, pizza uh, El Portal. Yes, pizza el portal. Yeah, really good, really, really good pizza. Yeah, you should. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You should to visit the cathedral because now the the cathedral have light.
Your audio teach. Any questions? No. No? And we were talking about different kind of things. Excellent. Okay. Teacher. Um, yes. I'm a little confused. When we must last the shoes to use I mean, I'm a little confused mm -hmm. when uh, we ask when we ask here, Francisca. No, I mean, <laughs> how can I use the children? It's for the opinion. No, Francisca, drink alcohol at work. No, Francisca, you shouldn't. You shouldn't drink alcohol in your work. Maybe on Friday. At home. Uh -huh. Maybe on weekend. Exactly. Okay. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> At the middle of the week, maybe tomorrow, but not, mm -hmm. not today. No, you shouldn't in the middle of the week. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, guys, thank you so much for connecting. We're going to practice tomorrow. Tomorrow we begin unit two. Unit two, okay? Okay, teacher. That's right, okay, teacher. teacher. Thank Have you. Have a nice night. Bye. You too. Bye. See you. See you. Good to see you. Have a nice see night. You later. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow.